They're quiet on set. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Let's Potty Podcast with your host, Benji Weatherly. It's the podcast where you learn absolutely nothing. I want to take a minute to thank Let's Potty's newest sponsor, Ponto Footwear. I can't think of a better shoe to take me through my day here in SoCal. The Ponto Pacific fits like a sneaker, but looks more like a dress shoe. I can wear them from the golf course, to a business meeting, even to the bar. They're slip resistant, water resistant, and perfect for everyday wear. Use our code POTTY15 for 15% off your order at pontofootwear.com. Take uh, two Testing. for... Yeah, testies, one, two. Um, we did this once before on the couch, but I filmed it upside down and... Uh, this time we have Annie and K. Rob, Kalani Rob, one of my favorite humans on planet Earth. It's nice. So this is more professional this time, Kalani. So don't make any dick jokes or anything like that. Get canceled. I'm glad that you brought your plant. Yeah. See, this is two ferns or one fern. One fern. It'd be on Three the mics. side of one fern. Three mics. I gotta turn my phone off. It's so popular. Um, yeah, Annie, why don't you, I mean, it's cause I know everything about this guy and this isn't a, a show about asking questions, but it's kind of fun to watch you ask people questions and make them uncomfortable. So why don't you start with uh, asking him his sex and where he came from and stuff or something. Talk, talk to him. I'll make you uncomfortable. Um, so <laughs> don't make you uncomfortable. Make him, make him super uncomfortable. Um, all right. I'm so. a normal. I'm, a, I'm <laughs> right, an old school, so just boy. I'm, I'm just an old school shithead boy. That's it. Just normal. I just like that making it an uncomfortable beginning. So let's go. Shithead boy. Come yeah. on, let's go. Well, so the first thing I got to ask is what everybody has been asking me since they found out that I was going to be on the podcast with you, which is what's going on with the surf club? So oh, wow. Got like She's ah, perf. So you think perfect. I wasn't even going to ask about ah, the wave pool. I just want to go surf it. Hold on. Where's yeah. the camera? Yeah. This is uh, this is groundbreaking time for K Dog's freaking project. The project. Oh, that does look like it matches the club. Uh-oh. Okay, so oh, that's that might have just been poached. As I answer the question, I told Benji because I wanted to get his impression. Yeah, I get to see it on film right now and cry. His impression <laughs> of uh, kind of let's see, like what I would say on camera. Oh, wait, you guys kind of got cameras, so if people are kind of paying... No, just keep it this way. This way. way. Just keep it over here, and they won't see it. That's right. It's not okay. much longer until you so, can see this, probably. Well, I'm gonna sh- it's going to only be this seconds for you, but this is... Okay, so this is not yet perfected. This is a hamburger, no cheese, no beef, no... <laughs> just just first one, bang, just yeah, one little this one. Is, it's like a stick figure. This is really it. Okay, huh? so that's the perfect piece. This is so fun. Let's just drag this out a little so bit. So wait, before look at I the press thing. Play, just, just press play. No, because before I press play, I want to like draw this out a little bit. Okay, draw it out. Think about it this way, okay? And I, I like to think in these terms. Like, if you were a young surfer right now, what your life is like compared to when we were young. We went, spoiled shitheads. We, we were punk ass little spoiled kids. Don't even paddle their bikes. Come on now. They're, we have to walk the lowers now. I drive the, I saw bike kids. The they're, they're, every kid in Encinitas rides those electric bikes with a helmet, and they all wear pajamas. They don't even wear normal clothes anymore. They're like, nah, I could care less. And they're watching their phone like this and not even paddling no. like this. And they're still in their pajamas. I'm like, God And every damn once in a while, I look over at the old guys and go, get it, girl. And you're like, ah. <gasps> Yeah, there's, fuck that kid. Yeah, so I'm. I'm <laughs> no, that's good, Benji. I'm, I'm kind of trying to wrap my head around the fact that my friend right here, that I literally watched as a tiny little person ride waves on dry reef at Nanakuli tracks to get like a 1.5, um, and then now he's a part of such an incredible thing that they've been working on for how long has this been? Project two and a half, three Too long, years. but two, three years. It. Like, but it's here we long. go. Exciting! It's like Christmas. That's a perfect peak. And this is a perfect peak so in the middle ways. of a desert. And K-Dog Making it a little bit bigger. Fun. Oh, my God. This so is that's a right peak. here. This is Waco on steroids. Okay, so wait. There's a That's the peak. left. So that's one. That's junk. That looks that's so That's just fun. a starter. Okay. I like to color this is, your guys' this pool. Is, okay, so a lot what of a people penis. had questions. I'm going to pee is in better, pool. This is better for you to see it than, than me and, and explain it because... Then it doesn't seem like, oh, Kalani and whatever no, is no, being biased. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like, this wave right here, before you start okay. it, is what everybody asks. Oh, Waco's nine seconds 
basically four turns and like you know four yeah. turns four little so this is kind of like this is the this basic. is not perfected in any way this is standard, the double standard. quarter pounder with cheese i'll show you the one that shane just showed me at the end of all this okay here we wow a little roll in what it looks like seaside on stair <gasps> i blew that first time oh, but. no don't even worry about your surfing right there you just comboed that thing that was a at least a you know wsl that was a 3.2 mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. but if it was in a mm -hmm. San Clemente challenge that was a 9.8. Okay, that was amazing. I'm gonna watch that again. Okay, but here, I love the little chip in and then it goes into a wedge. <gasps> That's oh, no. I you, you could have even went right. I could have, it feels went, like when, what happens is it feels like you have your own little wave to jump oh, in on. I did, and I then got you roll chills. in. It's like you know, in the ramp, I know, it has a rolling thing. You have a little chip shot it's into a rolling wedge. thing. Yeah, oh no, that's, uh, that's okay. my favorite way. So, so check far. this out. So this is unbelievable. Let's see what this one is. It's exciting. Oh, this was this was like this was Shane messing around with the profile and he kind of tweaked that first wave. The wave you just saw? I didn't play it. it. So we're talking about Shane Magnuson and uh, how do you say it? Magnuson. Magnuson. I hope I don't fuck that up, Shane. He but um he's like the mad scientist behind this right now. Yeah, he spends a lot of time in a hot ass <laughs> desert where I don't want to be melting and I, you know. And imagine no that. AC. He gets to create all uh, this you, stuff from just the most insane little random tricks. So he just tweaked it a little more. That's what the machine can do. Fuck. Makes it a little steeper. Oh, so I just got barreled. I messed up coming out. Sure did like and like there's a little hat. right on that other side. It's the same thing. Ooh, everything you nice see, turn. everything you see, is uh, this is, is so mirror. Okay, so check this out. It's better than I thought. Okay, and there's a right that does it too. Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's not even it. The best part. The best part is it's not. Of course, it's, it's set up as a Everything you see. Wait till you see this shit. So wait. I'll dance. Laugh. Though. Everything you see is a mirror. So everything that you see is a left, but it's the right. It's Okay, it's so it does it everything can do the same. <gasps> so wait, the first wave's mellow, oh, dude, but if you think of it, so everybody when they get in the the pool, because all the waves and all the water is going like a natural direction. Are you watching it right now? Yeah. Watch the second one, and you can rewind. Oh, there's it. two. Okay, here we go. Oh, so there's two wave sets. No, it's it's a six wave set. Oh, how's that? In oh, oh my god. But wait, how was that little slab? <laughs> But we rewind it. Oh, look at the third one. No one's on it. Oh, I love this thing. It's rewind not... it and zoom in on the second wave <laughs> and tell me. Yeah. That's Scotty too hotty. Anyway. Scotty. 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 The Scotty boy. Scotty um, what happens is because all the water is. Oh! It goes below. See him. I know. Woo! Right? Yeah. Bring Imagine, two how, boards. Cool. <laughs> Imagine right? how cool the photos are going to be of that. How gnarly is that? That was insane. Okay, so. How, it's like this deep right there on that one? No, that's like probably three foot deep, and I <laughs> ate it right on it. Look, if you eat it right on it and you really do it well, you'll, you'll, you'll break you'll your neck. break your shit. But you're going to do that in anything in surfing. Yeah. That's surfing. Don't do it if you don't want to surf. Don't, right. don't do it. But, look, we make the easiest, easiest wave that just rolls over a minor. You saw it's like easy. No danger at all whatsoever. How the takeoff was my favorite part. That's the easy one. Those are the first ones I showed you. And then if you want to get it, girl, then you can get it, girl. You get it, girl. You can get it, girl. Beef videos. When do those come out online? Beef like, videos? Like, are you guys even going to want to promote this since wait, it's wait, so beef good? Beef videos? What you know, your, your YouTube videos, remember? Beef videos. Look, we got yeah. it. Oh, never mind. I thought I yeah, mispronounced the name. Check it out. We're going to do it, too, because I was thinking to myself. You know that beef in Hawaiian means fight? Videos? And then you're so, like, see the same guy in the face. He just wanted to take we're his shirt off. Like, Let's we're go. Gonna be like, get, get your pants off. We're going to be like five <laughs> minutes into it. You're like, oh, this is when they talked about the beast part. So you can rewind it and then watch. You'll be like, this is right when the beast part starts. But isn't it funny that ironically your friends in Cali call it beefs and it, that means like, let's fight <laughs> in Hawaii. Beef. Hey, what? I, you, let's be, I know you never thought about it because you've been here so long. The best ever. We you done? Amateur broadcasting. I love the fact that I get to see. So tell us when that shit's coming out. Is it good? Are you gonna drop it like last time? Like every week, you're gonna have videos of Mason Ho jumping over people and stuff. Uh, so perfect name to mention. The two people I would want, but my top of my list, the two. They're basically right there at the same. But right now, who you're gonna have and who's coming here in like a couple of minutes here? Yes, yeah. whatever. Uh, Blair Conklin. Oh, killer. So. It was in Sad Magazine. I think Taj and I did it. It was freaking 20 years ago. But remember when they were doing that thing where they would ask you what you thought the future move was going to be? And I then know. they would do like a... I don't. They would do a... Um, 
like a, a drawing of it. It was oh, just like a, okay. a sketch of it. Yeah, like carbon three, t- double three. Yeah, like, like I remember they would just do it. And then because it was in our imagination, they would have to draw it because no one's doing it. Mm-hmm. So I remember like they would do when, when uh, what's his name? Uh, did the sushi roll. Uh, Jordy. Julian. Julian. When he first did it, then he, then it was like, I had said it maybe seven years prior and then Julian Wilson did the sushi roll. I was like, oh, it's going to be so gnarly <laughs> when guys go in the barrel and do a freaking air off the thing. Right. And I didn't do it. And Taj didn't do it. And I thought we were, we were yeah. you know, we're doing it at that point. So he Kenny's saw, you think way. he saw the, the picture in there drying? Or you think he I don't that? know. But you I know him. this. You, if you're very good at Joe Roganing it and you can like, oh, God, let me oh, see yeah. this. And when that happened, it was Stab Magazine or when there were magazines. It was like a thing when they wrote it, and it was like a thing. I do the future remember movie. those old and, drawings. And they were asking progressive surfers what they thought because they thought, oh, fucking, that's interesting. Let's see what these guys think. They're on it. They're doing it. So anyway, long story short, come back to Blair. This, they did this thing, and, and, and he had done that role. And then I think somebody else had asked me after that, holy shit, you predicted that. And sure enough, Julian did it. What do you see next? And I go, okay. I go, I think that because I had, it was like later on and I go, oh, I think that for some reason that there's going to be somebody that has a sport when we have these wave pools because the wave pools were going and I had seen Blair and prior to that, I, actually, I hadn't seen Blair yet. I said, I think that our next world champion is going to be because what happened was I did the plunge thing with the sucking Mm-hmm. Down at the plunge down at San Diego. Oh, right. The, uh, it's Tom. Flo Rider, Tom Flo Rider. Yeah. And I saw Terje. It was Terje, oh, right. Beaker. Yep. I remember that. The Swatch guys. Uh, dude, yeah. t- t- so it was Terje, Terje. Beaker, and Sh- uh, Paul, uh, Rice. Uh, uh, Rice, a snowboarder. Travis Rice? Travis Rice. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, wait. This, this, is, is, a, this is a wave, and it's mimicking a wave, and these guys are in our world you know basically in our world and they absolutely fucking smoke us there's we don't even there's nothing entertaining about us going back and forth hopping in the air getting the barrel going we there's nothing entertaining about that (laughs) terje is doing double backflips to something something yeah like shove it we're done we're obsolete and in that moment i went oh i go the next best surfer in the world that we're gonna that's gonna change the world and and philippe and and Gabriel and Italo and everybody and whatever, whatever. Those are the starts. Those are the glimpse of it. There's a glimpse that's coming, right? It's it's there. I yeah, eat it's coming. Just like but creepy. check this out. It it hasn't come yet, but it's going to be in the form of what I was thinking back then. And I'm not strapped. Not strapped in. Not strapped in. But they're going to go with shit. I remember back in the day, Terje was doing that, but he was strapped in. They're gonna they're they're gonna start doing it because they're gonna perfect the size boards for the wave. And I know where the wave is as well after mm-hmm. this, but they're going to perfect this board that gets that way that doesn't catch the wind that can ride the big wave that holds the rail and blah, blah, blah. They'll find it, right? It's not there yet. Kelly's on the way, I believe, you know, by getting these like kind of smaller, the rounded noses and less area of boards in big waves. So it doesn't catch your board. There's too much and blah, blah, blah. But I saw there that I thought, okay, the next guy is going to be from another sport. The next world champion is going to be from another sport. The next world champion, the best guy in our sport, our sport of surfing, which is kind of like progressing, but didn't yet to the where the level is, is going to be from like a skater background that learned how to surf in the wave pool and fucking smoked everybody. I'm pretty dang sure it's going to be now, nowadays, it's going to be somebody like Blair that's mm-hmm. going to be like the guy, but... Blair is going to, there's going to be a cross between Blair, the guy that does not need fins, but has such edge control that could air like Terje on a dime with no problem consistently and gets better and was doing flips, but able to surf it in the ocean. Yeah. Ironically, Tom happen. Curran started riding skimboards. His brain is just like yours. Very, that's I mean, pretty deep thought to think that you're on to this and Tom Curran I, I totally started riding it. skimboards and he's 58 years old or whatever and he, is shredded on skimboards. Imagine if he thought of that 40 years ago because he's such a mind. I think that we're surfer. all on the same track. Absolutely, because yeah. we're on the same track because we do. We You go way faster without fins. It's I like Blair insane. because he can have a Coors Light, go catch a wave, get a barrel, <clears> come out with his hair dry, and then kiss his girlfriend. There's, That's a way cooler thing than paddling in currents. There's almost Ugh. nothing he can't do that somebody can do on a surfboard now. I want to see him surf. I've never seen footage of him surf. He surfs good. Yeah, he must. But he's he, a killer style. But that, a surfboard holds him back. 
when he rides a skateboard, you're that's, like, that's what, Duh, you're, that basically, sucks. that's what you're saying. Is he's that like, the, he could beat Italo in a heat on a skimboard, but if he surfs, he's pretty good. I mean, look, that's how much you better the board Blair was. in the wave pool during those contests with Italo guys. I mean, no, not yet, not yet, but I see not some yet. clips, but, for sure. but true, I don't know, man. Give it a couple of years and maybe like there's Kai Thompson and, and another kid that we're, we're bringing up right now. And there's these other little grounds. But see, the other little grounds, they're surfers. So there's going to be like that new Sean White. Can he take off on waves at the pool? Absolutely. Yeah. Easily. Or does he always ride in like? Easily. He can easily take off. Blair's wow. one of the, he's an anomaly though. Nobody can do Nobody it like him. It. I mean, <laughs> there's others, but not like, not like him that. or they would be doing it. So the ne- the next one's like this little kid Kai that is on our team from Catch Surf. He the reason why I say that is because he knows surfing, he loves surfing, he's a surfer, but his discipline's oh well, he's a skimmer, yeah. but he's two. You're gonna have to be two. Right. You're gonna have to be like an insane snowboarder, I feel, because the discipline of snowboarding is gonna be more important than just a standard of surfing. Standard is gonna be like oh well, like I'm doing jujitsu right now, it's, it's like the gi is a standard, the old school, the thing, like, oh, that's the basis of surfing. But the real thing, the what Crescent became is the no, just the no normal no gi, no gi thing, the volatile or whatever they call it. Because uh-huh. that's like, holy crap, you can't like grab these yeah, things it's now. Totally it's not like sport, a thing, right? but it's more exciting. It's all this other yeah. stuff. That's the more, that's the, it's, he's Good the progression job. of it. Yeah, that makes sense. So it needs to go backwards. It's going to be those I, guys. Uh, he's definitely on my top YouTube. Mind. He's definitely out there on that. And then who's your second guy that you'd want to come out to there? Mason or Chippa or one of those guys to do some giant puns? Mason. Mason's Mason and Blair are basically my top one. Yeah. Because sure. Blair's my favorite surfer right now in the world. Dude, after watching been. that, the contest is, oh, man. It's 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 finally going to have a wave pool where, I mean, Waco has a little bit of, you know, I can't see what my stuff. contest is going to be because I don't Imagine want any of these Gabriel kooks to steal my ideas because all these kooks steal my ideas and I want to make it do yeah. it. But I have an idea. I've been talking to like guys like Danny Way, yeah. Eric Costin, yeah, you gotta not surfers. Cool you, event. WSL, sorry, you guys are lame. Like The contests are just like, they're not getting any more progressive. I think it's going to be cool because I heard there's going to be a Dubai. That's exciting. That's super That's a sick. wave pool. That's so we're cool. like getting onto it. But I think that there will always going to be a place for old school competition. There's got to be. That's a classic style, and I think that always should be. And I love it. But there's going to be a new way of entertaining for surfers, and I think there's going like going to be like a maybe that's like how there's a W. What is it? The UFC right now, and then there's also kind of like those side things where it's like Logan Paul fighting. Yeah, like, yeah. It could be a special uh, ideas. I'm going to try to do some more fun stuff like that where guys can get big cash and have fun and people are going to be super entertained by skills that are used for other reasons. And then I'm going to, I think that we can do some entertaining stuff, especially yeah, in a wave pool. Especially you can have a concert going on at the same time and like people in floaties. Oh, that's standard. Imagine how much fun that is going already, Fisher is already, already he's, he's already up. there right now. He's already setting up. He's already there. He's not there, but he's right there in front of the PSSC sign, right there doing his thing and the thingy thingy and people are going nuts and then he jumps off the stage naked and then he surfs and he's having a great time and we're all what, fun. What girl is going there? We have to be more diverse. What girls? What's the first girl? Sierra Kerr. Who's the best? Um, well, I like Sky. The There's Sky Brown. Sky Brown's really good. She's my she's my first pick because she's exactly you've been with her too for a while. Yeah, you've known her for a minute. Yeah, but again, like my thing, and I'm glad I'm doing this podcast on it because I like to make note of when it is and date wise. But I've been saying it for a long time for people who know me. I want to make it known right now that these are the things that I saw way ahead that I don't see how anybody else sees, but. It's because Sky's a skater. Her yeah. first love is skating, but she's right. an insane surfer. And then she's going to be insane at snowboarding, I'm sure, soon if she really picks it up. And she's going to have to be whatever. But she's going to be a super athlete. Yeah, She's going to be one of those ones where you're going to be like, oh, are you going to do the Olympics for Japan for surfing? Or are you going to do it for skating? Oh, I might do both and win double gold. That's going to happen. Yeah, I just hung out with the Burton team for a Europe trip, and we went all over, and they all – 
had a skateboard. Yeah. And they all were they all were professional skateboarders. And then uh, Brock, one of the kids from Encinitas, he's a pro snowboarder for Burden. He's a pro skater and a pro surfer, basically. He's yeah. sponsored for all different companies. Current Cables, so. dude. <laughs> yeah, Current we Cables. We grew up with his dad, so, Evan. So, but it's like, and now the girls are doing bro, it. Bro, Current, current at uh, the Waco Stab High thing was not even surfing. He was doing different shit where I was like, he's, <laughs> there it is, like, there's the certain future. glimpses like John John had that same kind of beginnings. Then it got so good at surfing, he's like, I should probably stop skating as much. He I mean, probably, look, you know? John John wanted to be Kalani David. Kalani David wanted to be John John Grant. Yeah, that's a good good point. Straight up, because they're that's both so talented, could have gone either way. Well, John John wanted to skate as good as Kalani because Kalani was so good yeah, at so skating, good. and he was like, and obviously John John just wants to be good at everything. And then Kalani wanted to be like John John because John John had his skill in skating and. You know, yeah, they push each other for sure. But that's so. Either way, where I'm thinking now, what I want to promote, who I want to put a light on, or who I know is going to be the those gold du- double gold medalists. And number one, like Sky is the top of my list on that food chain of thought is like that's my double gold medalist right there. And yeah. I've said it for like since she was like. Yeah, I'll ask your dad. Ask you. That would be pretty amazing. <laughs> and then summer. everybody underestimates. Like uh, every, un, everybody underestimates Ocean. Ocean's gonna come too. Where Sky goes, Ocean goes, and Ocean's like incredible. They just, un, it's just crazy. And sorry, Ocean, but that's just you're gonna be the gnarliest dude because you have Sky, and it's gonna be something where you just don't know. It. It's like the the Bruce and Annie thing. You grow up and you're just like, holy shit, I didn't know I've been a black belt since I was like <laughs> right? seven because yeah. I had a sister that's yeah. like... Kicking your ass. The youngest Olympian in a hundred years. That's and that's incredible. my sister. That's so now. So that's going to be... An, that, that's going to be my first people that come to the pool that I want to promote. But again, this it's sort of like I have a lot of investors now. So hopefully, hopefully those guys will kind of let the let vibe of what I... Thing would like to do but it, look i have to be super it's humbling in business it's humbling in having partners it's humbling being in the, such a big business deal that i've never been in so i'm the rookie so i'm just learning and i'm just uh paying attention and being aware of my investors being aware of the people that are most important and not only thinking about myself because there's a lot of people involved and then you know it's a big business thing like look i'm I'm trying to copy Kelly, like (laughs) trying to learn from him and doing the things he's doing. He's the most successful guy that we know. And I'm trying to, in my own way, as we always have been, because that asshole is always kind of showing us the way, is trying to learn from his mistake, any mistakes that not to say he makes mistakes, but any mistakes that I may have seen. And so far I've seen that, you know, when he had it himself and he invested and all his money was there and all the risk was there, he was the boss. He got to do what he wanted. That's me in the very first half. But when the investors came in, the 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 Ziffs and the and the Michael Schwabs and those type of people, then he lost a lot of the it's other people's stuff and their visions and what they want to do. And that's their you know they put a lot of money into it. So um, there is gonna be a world or, or a place, and I don't know if it's I don't even know if it's gonna be with me, but I hope that there'll be enough of that what we all want is symbiotic and it works out because I know that, you know, there is going to be an element of actual surfers there that love surfing are there for the pool. And then there's going to be other people there. You know what I mean? For like, you got to understand style. You have such a great opportunity from just your guys beginnings. Those videos, like, Everybody got so attached to this. It was like a fantasy world that you were living in yeah. that we all were watching. And then when we would get invited, we'd be like, I'm going to fantasy land. And it's different than Kelly's. Kelly's is like an experience that no other experience like that. Like you have vegan food, which I hate or whatever. And then mm-hmm. you have, it's just, it's such an experience that you have to be so wealthy to even understand that when you're there, you almost don't want to blow it. You don't want to fall yeah. on waves. So you're, much you're like, shit, I don't want to actually grab the wrong thing or do something wrong. Yeah. And it's a good feeling. You know, I like being an adult, but I like to be a kid too and live in fantasy world. That's and my house. Yours, that pool, like just it's the like color of the pool. Like, like, it looks like a pool. Is different from my house. You Dude, know what my house wake, used to be. <laughs> if, my, if my pool looked like Waco, I would never go in it. Like, I mean, it's, it's so much. gross. And then your, your pool is so clear that I'm like, wow, yeah, I, I just want to chill see, in the pool. Like, it looks yeah, like the fantasy. most beautiful 
Yeah. It's like Miami, beautiful pool. Like, oh, oh, shit, it's what's it's like what Miami. It looks like Miami, bitch. Yeah. And uh, also, the fact that those videos now are going to be coming out with even a way better wave. That wave was super fun. It was a cute little moment. But now you have a legit lowers left and right. It's so cool. I so mean, what you, that, when are you guys going to start dropping videos is what I'm asking. Because I'm going to start watching them late at night uh, and get horny. I don't know. I, I The waves aren't to what we want to show yet as you saw yeah, you guys are still getting developing. there but there's we got to tweak this tweak that do a little which is tomorrow i mean i'm going out there tonight so you guys are going hard in the paint right now we're going hard in the paint is there like a our, i mean who knows i mean every time you talk about the pool it's like oh another week uh is there a starting point for people that'll be able to pay and come play with it is it another year away i heard it soon but okay. i don't know those guys make those decisions on that now I, I, it's the I'm same glad as, I don't have to make those decisions because <laughs> it's the same as starting a restaurant. I, everyone's like, "So oh, when are you opening?" Dude. I'm like, "Never." No, you know, I got one better for you. <sighs> I got one better. Twenty-three grand a month, I pay rent, Silly's and I'm not open. It's like shit. burning money. I'm sorry. There's two restaurants, oh, dude. Let's talk. Oh, I got Heidi. The liquor there's a lady. big one. I got the same liquor license lawyer that he's got. She's yeah. like, "I got Tony Hawk and Connie Rob. You know them?" I'm like. I hate them. <laughs> I know one of them for sure should have a liquor license, but I don't know. Like, fucking fuck I, it's, Tony Hawk can't get a liquor license in Encinitas. <laughs> and he, he literally is the mayor of Encinitas. So what do you think I'm going to get? Uh, They're all, Benji, what? they went through my criminal record. They're like, just all I heard was beep. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. No, I'm, I got a clean record, not even a drip. Uh, so we lost track, but dude, I'm talking blue pools, videos coming out hot, maybe next month you'll start popping videos off? Maybe, maybe. yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, by next month. I had to sure. explain Kalani Rob's roots with the beefs. It's so funny, when I saw it, the first thing I thought was, oh, what, beef? Like, let's beef, let's, like, let's fight. And then I realized it's actually a piece of meat that's a beef. Is that what it is? It, it, no, beefs is because Chris is fat. Oh, so it's not, it has nothing to do with fighting. It's offensive. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> like, this is like a beef uh, cake. I should got, have that shirt. It wasn't really. Beef that cake. He, I, I call him fat right now, but no, it's because he was like really, uh, he would go to the gym a lot. Oh, okay. So he, he was like. beefed up. Yeah, you know, like, uh, what so is it funny. called? Um, Jack Johnson. Uh, from South Park. <laughs> I want my cheesy oh, poops. Uh, Carmen. Carmen. Car Car Cartman. I'm glad I don't remember their names because that was a. You, they, they're better now. If oh, you God. watch a South Park now, you're, you're like, this is better. It's so funny. If you're famous, you're on South Park too. You made yeah, it. I like the it's South like the part. made it part. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. So you're gonna still live here and uh, just drive to. Palm I am Springs. not living in Palm Springs. It's this guy's gangster. He goes hot. 100. No, I shouldn't tell you how fast he goes, but he goes pretty fast. He gets to Palm Springs from San Clemente in like an hour, maybe hour and a half, right? Hour, hour and a half. I'm so, exactly but that's right how much he loves this town, and I, I love this town too. Now I'm getting to know it with you. If it is a cool little town all those videos what was it fourth of july what was that holiday you guys were right sliding here we were sliding down this mountain what was that that's uh, holiday the was that chair, the fourth of july fourth of july armchair race and i don't know if we should do it after that <laughs> why did people get hurt they did yeah they got hurt. it huh? was um last this year everyone came but the year before was the first year ever that there was like some probably some famous people social media wise or whatever whatever or it maybe just up. yeah i don't know i probably didn't help it not that i'm the gnarly guy but i probably didn't help that but i didn't yeah, i wouldn't have thought there. that i would have, if it, now looking back at it as fun as it would it, it is i think that we all if we wanted to keep it what it was which was just people from here mm -hmm. only us only locals in san Clemente. it was literally only us right yeah. and and it's been there for like, you know, I've lived on this street for like five years, but I've lived all in San Clemente for like 15 now. And that goes out every year? Well, it's been going well, on for years and years? Yeah, it's been for a few years before I moved we, oh, Okay, so it's been going that long. But uh, not here at San Clemente, but here in this area on the wrong side of the tracks, as they call it. Uh, but right after the year before last, social media got a hold of it. it it's too much. It's too much. And there's just, it's like frat party now, and everyone is, it, well, it's not family. Nice. It used to be just family, and we're like throwing balloons at each other, not at the people coming down the hill because they could get hurt. Yeah. But now we're like, it's, I heard idiots were like freezing balloons. What's the point? Yeah. You want to like throw a rock at somebody? Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. So it's, people were doing that. Um, they had these like ro water balloons and ultras. I got hit. In the eye so hard, one of the kids like hit me in the arm with one of the or eye with one of those oh, slingshot no. things. I own one now. 
Uh, <laughs> he's coming. He's fucking coming. So there's gonna be a, now. It's known as a war of the neighborhoods. <laughs> I'm like, all right, bitches, let's start. I'm like, pull. I'm like, what's pull? I do like, like it. I do like the camaraderie. Those wing you guys things have. that two people get on the side. Yeah, and the other guy gets in the middle. Yeah. yeah, these guys have those, and they shot me in the eye with one of those. Oh, I'm like, no. like, anyway, I'm gonna have like five on the roof, sniper on the other roof. <laughs> Guys, better watch out next year if we it's, have it again. But I think it's getting too out of control. It's still a really fun town to live in. So he's the the Palm Springs thing is da- a daily routine. Well, you stay there. You guys got a little hotel. You guys started up there. So I partnered Sean Neff and I partnered with John and Anne, who own the Villa Royale in Palm Springs. We're now partners with them, and also another partners that they took on is Jeff and um, Jeff and Richard, who are some of the biggest hotel owners in Palm Springs. Wow. And they're, they also own restaurants and amazing restaurants uh, that we always go to as, as uh, Cecil. You ever seen uh-huh. here of Club Cecil? Yeah. Our Bar Cecil. Bar Cecil, yeah. So those are one of the, the one of the things we, where that's basically the only place we eat when we go to Palm that's Springs. That's so cool. You got to, you're starting to get your own little rat pack out there. Well, it's fun. I mean, look, if you, when you come out, you'll stay with me at the hotel when you guys come out and check it out, and you're going to freak. I can't wait. Like, there is a, it's like a speakeasy type thing oh, in nice. the back. It's small. It's, like, super private. It's really, it's all in the lighting's all insane. Oh, man. And How close is it to the pool? Can you? Two miles. Oh, sweet. You could ride your e-bike back. Oh, no man. Problem. It's so exciting. So. Uh, so this, this next, it's actually kind of cool because it's winter time is better out there. That's when you kind of... It gets pretty cold, too, though, right? I mean, we're so like wearing full suits? S- summertime is gnarly. It's hot, but that's kind of the beauty of it. I, I get it. It's like a it's a certain type of hot, so everybody wants to go around the best pool out there. Right. And duh. So it's like that is an interesting thing that we're now presenting that never really was out... Well, I mean, it was out there in the form of wet and wild, but that's just like straight slides and stuff like that. This is sort of a restaurant and... Water yeah. slides and a wave pool and, you know, uh, like a concert grounds. And we have two big Trinitron screens on each side. There's like a 30-foot pull-out stage. There's like a staging area that we can do 10,000 people. Um, there's, you know, it's, there's an inf- uh, what you want to so call it. So you, like you're going to have kind of high, what do you call it, high? You like that. You're lazy. Um, I'm definitely lazy. Um the the seasons like it'll be more expensive at the when yeah. it's like that and like most of Palm Springs which like I lived out there for the most part for like a year like out there enough to say pretty much I lived out there is it's seasonal they they break they they in during the summer we get super duper hot at a certain yeah, point like this month is they, the, the hardest yeah they right? close it down and people are leaving yeah so they, it's basically like a ghost town for a couple months where it's like fuck this we're out too hot by so who knows? Maybe there is going to be more opportunity that we will expand and have people stay around, stay in the hotels, eat at more of the restaurants, shop at the more stores, because now they're coming when they usually wouldn't. So I'm right. hoping that that helps Palm Springs, and I hope that helps businesses. I think, I think no matter will. what's going to happen, it's going to help. Because surfers that are hype, if it's cheaper in August, like oh. they're, they're coming in Forget hot. August, they don't like, care. Might, bro, yeah. 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 So. yeah, surfers are nuts. They... So, yes, I, I hope that at the very least they'll understand that, yeah, if it's not something that clientele for their reasons, well, I'll bring a whole new clientele for them. And, like, my aim is truly to help Palm Springs and come back to where it was because when Frank Sinatra was out there, you can totally see that that place was popping. You need to make a Palm Springs shirt that says Frank Don't Surf. <gasps> That'd be a sick one. And maybe a little fedora as the it away. No, Oh, sorry. Uh, check, please. No. Um, no. Somebody's uh, going to have that now. <laughs> By the time your podcast came out, that first person's go, oh, I've got it. Good job, Benj. Yeah. Just make me yeah. one. Yeah, that would be our sick. first piece of merch. Yeah. You should make one now before it comes Frank out. Frank, don't surf. That's funny. Uh, that's a genius, but, uh, as usual. Dude, that's going to be so great. I love that you guys are that close to the airport, too. Well, like, dude, and this is what I think, too. I have this vision, and look. Every time we go to surfer polls, we used to dress like, remember us? And Ooh, then we used to do, let's like, go. you remember? Yeah. Okay. Flash of those pictures, permed hair, yeah, lar dogs, Rizal. <laughs> He's talking about straight our rat pack. from Bali, <laughs> straight from Bali. I don't know what those suits were costing, but it was yeah. fun. And we still couldn't get it right. We made but custom check this out. suits. We thought we were so cool. We thought we. Were, I would look. So anyway, <laughs> now we get a second chance to be not cool. But yeah. This time I got like 
We, no, we when you get grotto. older, no, you're no, supposed no. to be cool. So we got the grotto. So this is the people who make my suits and stuff. They're the grotto in Newport. Mm-hmm. The best. Oh, yeah, I've the heard grotto. of that place. They are the best. They make insane suits. But coming to back to that is we kind of didn't make them nice. We were kind of looking like oh, they no, weren't yeah. like tightened tight. up, tightened up. So man. right now, this is what I it guarantee is going to happen. We always go around the world. Remember when we come back or when we went to Bali, we'd, we, and we even dressed differently. Or let, let's say when we came back for the surfer pole, we knew we were going to dress like that for that yeah. occasions and have fun. And we're all, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd put a suit in a board bag. There's going like to be. Wax everywhere and shit. There, in the next couple of years, once we start opening and we'll be on track, you're going to come out. You're going to be staying at the hotel, eating at incredible restaurants that Frank Sinatra used to eat at with all of us as a surf trip. And, yeah. you know, it's almost going to be like our Gravis round table. And how cool is that? You don't have to fly to Endo. You can just drive no. an hour and a half home. But it's going to be almost like Whew. our round trips that Jake used to do for us. Yeah. Where well, we have the snowboarders, the skaters, the graffiti insane. artists, yeah, the bag maker. Yeah. Okay. Pookie. It's going to be insane. Like, okay, so anyway, it's going to be like that, I believe, where... We're going to go out to Palm Springs. There's going to be an event at the pool. We're going to have a reason to go surf together, do some art, go eat at restaurants that are super nice. This is a surf trip now. Different, yeah. different. Yeah. Go eat at restaurants that Frank Sinatra used to do. Wear like super nice golf. suits. Golf. Super nice suits. Hello. Hello, That's golf. where Bob and all, in fact. Bob Hope. Okay. They That's the one. When nickname. we do it, I was hoping that when these my investors, you know, get to know me better, that they know I have all the coolest friends, that you will commentate. My caddy, I'll be your caddy. I don't know. I'm your no, caddy. Wait, we're doing. That's better. We're doing I'm going to be golf your caddy. But you have to do the commentating as well somehow. Uh, yeah. I'm so down. anyway, we're going to do something where I would hope to say, I might as well just say it because they, ain't gonna st- they can't stop me, is I would like <laughs> to say that I would Beep. hope to do something in the light of like when the U.S. Open of surfing is in Huntington. It's such a great thing for our sport. There's going to be a type of event that I do that has a lot to do with golf, has a lot to do with the Heck Indians yeah. and the casinos out there, and has a lot to do with the wave pool and giving back in our space in the wave pool. That's not where it would be, but doing an event where it attracts all the golfers, all the guys that are doing all the fun stuff, the gamblers and all that kind and of your stuff. Golf Just a fun course, different right against course. your wave yeah, pool right is perfect. There. It's insane. It's a perfect course. So but we have many of them. But the the idea would be is you know, you're going on a surf trip. You're going to have your surfboard. You're going to have your golf clubs. You, you know, your your wife or your girlfriend is going to b- bring her best dress, and you're going to be in a suit. Mm-hmm. And then after, when we have dinner and stuff, Red you're going to get a chance to do something different. Fun. Yeah, it'd be cool your to be girl's adults. Be like, oh my god, Benji. Yeah, it'll be like a, a memorable moment instead Just of like different. going down to the beach. I'm know? presenting our our sport something so. different. We did all the things out there in the world, did we not? Yeah, this surfing. is something that we have not done, right? Yeah, exactly. So this is a world that I wanted to make sure that I was able to go, oh, I have a vision. This is a small thing in the world. But in our world of surfing, I want to say, oh, my God, let's go here because of that. Oh, and then think, like, yeah. I helped do that. I think you know, the side Shane note. Magnuson, yeah. All my partners that made it come to do all the new investors that came in. Yeah, it's insane. They, they all helped that vision. And I'm like, I'm super stoked because I'm just, Everyone's like, oh, wow, killer, stoked. Hey, congratulations on, on your wave pool. I'm like, my wave pool? Oh, motherfucker. You know how fucking, this is so hard and so stressful to do this shit? Like, I'm doing this for you guys. Congratulations for you. Yeah. Because this shit yeah. is not fun for me. Ask Kelly. Yeah. Like, how many times did we see Kelly? Or I've been saying No, I Kelly? just think it's the side note of, of wave sucks. pools, the reason why I think they're so cool is that they're a controlled environment. And growing up surfing, that was the, always the thing that took away from just being like having fun and stuff because you always were kind of dialed in because you had to know the ocean. You had to figure out where you're going to get hit by this or that. And, you know, you had to actually prepare and stuff. It seems like now we're just pushing a button, having Shane high five you and tell you, remember back in Waco days, uh, which kind of wave do you want? He would actually ask you on a loudspeaker and you're like, I'll take the barrel. Now we can do it. When I did this, I did (laughs) all the things. So, Here's another thing, I guess, if people really want to know, like some of the stuff and if it's actually going to happen is like I and this is my thing trying to get like people like Apple involved and going, oh, my shit, this this fucker is like actually paying attention. This guy right here is a surfer. He's got an Apple watch. He's using it in his new wave pool. He's literally actually doing what we try to do at Apple, teaching our customers how to use our product. And this guy is doing it in activating it in 
the in the area that we're trying to show and, and, and promote, like I'm doing it in the wave pool. I have my friend, what it was uh it was chance in the pool, then I have Shane on my phone, which is can be in anything, and I said, Hey, what wave do you want? And he goes, Oh, I want this wave. And I go, Okay, it's coming. And then I send it to you're him. You're talking on the Straight phone. up talking to you, dude. It's insane. Like, no noise or nothing. Personally, hey, what do you want to do? Well, I kind of want to. Oh, that's to insane. Give me a beer after that's this so too? creepy yeah, sure. and cool. Okay, <laughs> Cabana insane. 3, yes. Yeah, it's incredible. there. It's I got incredible. it. It's already, I've already proven it. So it's like, oh my God. that's some of the things too where. That's incredible. And then, you know, some little kid just ripping. He's like, I'm on the left now. Like, yeah. Insane. And it's an alarm that can, uh, you're in your hotel. You're like, oh my God, it will go off because you have your thing with the reservations for us. And anyway. It's such a cool time. I right have now. a lot of visions on that. But the, 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 the ones that's right now is like you're saying the kids that are going to be in there. We have the staging area for like the crazy parties and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be so much fun. The vision for it all and all of it. What does it all mean is to give something to surfing that. I hope that everyone will have fun. It will help everybody. It will help Palm Springs as a city. I think, well, what a wild thing to have some surfer from Hawaii come over here to Palm Springs and be like, hey, if I, even if it's not me, but I turned on the light to help turn it back on, that's all I need. I don't want to be like, I don't need to be the Frank Sinatra, but I would love to be one of the names that said, oh, this is one of the dudes that helped out. Like he actually thought about it, said he was going to do it and helped actually do it not like remember friday the movie yeah. when he's like what are you trying to do build a clubhouse i'm trying to build a clubhouse we're building a clubhouse it's friday and it's gonna be as my day off lit and as i'm they say. still trying to build my clubhouse oh man that's so that's what's exciting for someone that's just your friend and not involved with the business side is you're building a clubhouse for the our children and for the rest next generation that's so exciting i don't know man and and it looks like a pool. i don't hear i mean this is my thing too is like I said, I have a lot of partners, so even me speaking now is, it, like, I have to, They maybe they'll have to watch it, but it's, like, <laughs> these are, like, meetings and stuff, yeah. like, and there's a lot of people and a lot of heads well, yeah, we haven't, now. Like we haven't full, talked about anything. Full business, you know. That is, you know, scary for them to let out, and you didn't show any waves. It's exciting, no. dude. We're, this is good times. <laughs> good times. And uh, what's, the, what's the next? So you're just locked in, loaded right now, just watching your kids grow and, and get the way pool going, right? Is there, yep. my going son's, on trips? My son's going to try to be the new Altani. My daughter is oh, doing uh, water polo and softball, and she's just a thug. And then I'm just being dad. Dad. Doing wave it. pools, doing hotels. Uh, now I'm... Uh, opening well i have it with my cousin who i found is my cousin adam watts who i started training with is my actual cousin really the cabrals no way. on the big island that married into my ventura side no way cool because i'm a ventura and i'm a dowset meaning oh well cool hey kalani i heard you came from one of the top five families everybody's growing up it's like ooh, <laughs> no actually i found i came within two of them because my great grandfather no my grandfather and my grandmother my grandma is a ventura and my grandfather is a dowset is this the grandma that's on the big one yeah is she still alive yes no way she's a g she's a g she's so a g. like i found out that i got two of the top five people are like there's two families so i'm like yeah yeah so everyone's my cousin bottom line so moral of the story is that's so cool. you're my everyone's my cousin that's so you guys cool. are all related to me and so the gym, I, I've been going and training jiu-jitsu. It's been fun. I'm a white belt, total kook. It's fun. I'm getting my ass kicked. White belt is the beginning? Beginning. Yes. Everything hurts. Shit. You get your ass kicked. You're asking why you're doing this. And you're like, well, so I don't get this happening to yeah, you. Yeah, but then you're like, but, but I can't like, move. Wait a it's, like getting a, it's like getting a flu shot. You're like, I'm getting the flu. I didn't get myself So getting into day. comedy at, in your 40s, is, I always say, is like trying to do porn in your 40s. But now I realize doing jiu-jitsu in your 40s is like trying to do porn in your 40s. Totally. Because you think you're killing it, but then at the end of it, you're like, I don't want to see the footage and fuck me and ass my ass hurts. Like, oh my God, right? I mean, there's a real, I know that it's I just went on a total analogy. tangent, but it the is. Because every time I have done jiu-jitsu, I'm like, well, that didn't help. It hurt. Damn it. And then my neck hurts and shit doesn't um, yeah but every time i do porn i'm always like don't show, burn the footage no, i'm just kidding i don't do porn so you know <laughs> not yet i'm waiting until i turn in my late 50s don't do porn <laughs> don't do porn <laughs> that was a true friend moment right there he's all don't do porn don't do porn 
I thought that was an actual thought. No, I already did the stand-up comedy thing, and it's worse than porn. I had it's incredibly gross, and I don't want to do it anymore. I'm just kidding. No, That's the a joke. best. It's one a joke. I'm open to restaurants, so I, I can do it every night. The the one how you're saying, "Oh, I got a friend, and I'm helping him out." He's oh, he's homeless. He's in my <laughs> he lives backyard. off the land. Yeah, <laughs> with a bunch of other people. That's just you call good. Him homeless if you're and a the dick. fact that we can poke fun at your brother for having that van too, and oh. all his friends that are super rich and have those. Yeah, vans, I, the, those the funniest thing about it is I kind of got a little routine now, and I met these two girls that um. I told someone this in the last podcast, but I, I met these two girls at the Lucas Nelson concert and they told me two different times, did two different jokes that I did because they saw a bunch of my shows. And I was like, holy shit, they actually remembered the That's jokes. That's good, dude. And I was I like, because then when, when you listen to comedy, you're always, you're like, hot pocket. You know, that guy, Jim Gavigan. Hey, would you, we're doing a podcast. Shut up. Damn it. Uh, Hippies. Best. Yeah, so they when they said it, I was like, oh, so I should keep going with that joke? Because all my friends that do comedy now, I, all my friends, but a couple of like professional comedians are like, you have to have a routine like a ballerina. You have to n get better at that routine. And and I'm like, I just don't like to repeat myself. And he's like, no, they, you don't gotta, they don't care. They, they go, they want to the hear it. It's not the same people. It's, it, the guy explained it like this. If you went to yeah. Metallica and all they did is new new music, yeah, you you'd be like, fuck, I'm fucking out of here. I don't want to sing along to this shit. When he said it that way, I was like, you're so right. If Bench. Metallica didn't play the Kill Em All album, I would burn the place down. And that's, like, and that's from the 80s. Like, that's some, but you know. Ben, this is what I was saying. Look. I watch the Kevin Hart, those specials, and I see him. He has all these particular friends that he always has around them that are good to give him his jokes. Make sure That's he's doing he has okay. like a crew of people to help and him. And just bicker all day, like me and Scott. <laughs> Scott was here for If he gets months. a good bit, he write, the guy writes it down. Boom. And yeah, because those smart. conversations that they knew they laughed so damn hard at, they're like, dude, that's it. That's but it. look. Yeah. You have like two that I know that I remember, whatever <laughs> those girls remember. Those are like your hot ones. Yeah, the rest you kind of like. Maybe, hey, I don't know if I'm going to tell you, but I might, like, kind of retweak you. But then, like, those other ones are insane. <laughs> you go a little fast, in my opinion. No, you're 100%. Go that's, what I've been, that's what I'm working on is going slow. Because you don't, this is the thing, too, is when I was in the crowd, I was like, holy shit. Everyone's laughing, but you tell another joke so fast, and yeah. they're like. What, I didn't, what, I don't let it breathe. So, this time at the belly up, I did so much better. I wasn't even nervous this time because I knew what was coming. So I did way better. I think time. there's like, you could almost take three, I don't even know what they call them in Hollywood, like beats. I think you could take like not one, but two, but almost three beats. Oh, at least. Because there's so many people laughing so hard. Right. I let was that, fucking let laughing. It go. I, I, you know what my problem was in the beginning? I didn't think they wanted to hear what I had to say, so I want to keep going. Yeah. And no, they do, I yeah. need, a, the whole point is, is you got to believe in it and breathe and stuff. So I'm going to just kind of stop doing that, do porn. I've already said. Hey, I love that you said, "Don't do porn." I've already. <laughs> that no, was so no, funny. No, 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 no porn. It was, so, it was so sincere. Like I know him so well that he's been joking with me this whole interview until I said I was going to do porn. He's like, "Don't do porn." He's like, "As your friend, don't do porn." Uh, but the uh, one of my new jokes is that I'm getting older. My girlfriend's young, and I'm getting older, and I'm like, it's so embarrassing because sometimes I have to look for my glasses if I want to jerk off because because uh, <laughs> I can't I can't watch Pornhub on my phone without glasses. So I'll be going looking around the house like, fucking, where are those stupid fucking things? And then they'll get all hot and bothered too in the middle. It's like, that shit gets so annoying. And the worst part is my mom always hides glasses in my house. So I'll be like, where's my mom with those glasses? I got to watch Pornhub. <laughs> and it's so embarrassing that when you get older, all this shit starts happening. And when I say shit, I mean, you don't shit. It's so weird. You stop shitting. It's fucking bullshit. It's so creepy. Those, that's a new, one of my new ones. That was a combo yeah, right there. There's a combo. It's a. Uh, I'm it's, old. My new, my, young my new girlfriend. girlfriend. Where's my glasses? I have to ask my mom. The joke. The joke <laughs> is, is. The joke is, is that I say. Um, I go. Yeah, you know, my I was took my girlfriend golfing the other day because that's what you do when you're old and you go golf. And I'm I'm looking up and I'm like, hey, look at that hawk. Look at that beautiful hawk. And then I go, look at that. It's a blue jay. And she goes, you know, you're getting old if you know what birds are. And I'm like, oh. And then I go, what? And then like 10 holes later, I'm like, you know, Biden could really fucking take this. Out. And she looks at me and she's like, holy shit, you're old. And I was like, oh. and then five minutes later, I had heartburn. And I was like, ah, and it just never ends. And then I jerked off with no glasses and it was boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway. Uh, what about wave pools? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just on such a tangent. The, the, uh, the cool part about having Clonnie on the podcast is like just me and him. I used to just sit in a room with him. We'd smoke weed and he'd be video games the whole time because I, I just couldn't do it. They make me dizzy and shit. But I wanted to ask you today, like what's the new, when we were kids, it was Halo. 
right? What was like the oh, really no, good the one? Very, back, very back first in the one day. back in the day was James Bond Goldeneye. Goldeneye. That was the first one where you were you holding could a see thing, you shit. saw the person. I remember like, that. Oh, this is Goldeneye. weird. And then it was Halo. That lasted for a long time, and now and then it was kind of uh, Call of Duty. It's the new, the and new now order. yeah, that's the new <laughs> Rocket Ship Nine, <laughs> Space so Modulator now? Two Thousand. That's PlayStation, PlayStation Five. And now, um, what's the game now, now? Well, I play Fortnite with my kids because. But here's the thing: what's so wild about it? They're only trying to desensitize us to killing each other, which is kind of wild. And even the fact that it's like, oh, I'm trying to do it, and I can dance after whatever I killed you. So it's cool, right? <laughs> it's cool, right? Throw your shaka. You're like, that's mellow. <laughs> He's dead though, yeah. and you did it. You were like thinking, how do I get better at this game, aka kill my friend? Yeah, that's so fucking dark. But <laughs> hey, there's also race car games. Hey, they but, should do ones where they you try to hug them. You're like, you're like, I'm gonna hug them the most. No, I'm gonna hug them the most. Here's what's you're so like, crazy. Three thousand hugs. You're like, yeah. Here's what's so crazy. If if you play the video game and mine surf rat pack is my my ID name. <laughs> I, I've said this before, and I don't know if they're actually people who are listening, but I'm like, oh, let's we'll go and like start dancing in the middle of the game, and I'm like, oh, you know, it'd be pretty gnarly is to actually make a statement, and I don't know if this has ever happened. Maybe after I'm dead and gone, these nerds will do it. <laughs> but like make a statement when everybody's like goes and like there's 99 players in Fortnite. See how many players you could get every once in a while. Maybe when somebody passes away that they love in the game world. I don't know. And they all start dancing. Yeah, they don't go and kill each other. They yeah. all go to a place that they know that maybe a scene in the game that they thought was cool. Yeah, they and they should. all dance. That makes me feel good here. If that. when I die, if you nerds <laughs> listen up. I don't fuck around. Benji, tell him. Like, Maybe he goes I have into a thriller. Game. All of them start going, thriller night. No like, problem. Dancing. You guys make your best judgment. murder each other again. Make your judgment. On the podcast today, probably there'll probably be <laughs> the one nerd that knows and hears me. I've been a gamer since day one. He really I has. I've never stopped. I'm Asian. I still fucking Right when we today. started getting paid to surf, you started buying video games. And I remember Correct. I'd go to your house and we'd just spin joints and, w- and watch you for hours and go like, that looks I fun. Don't weed. I don't but I have ADD. I don't, I mean, when, wait. This guy's tripping. <laughs> Back in the day, I smoked a lot of weed. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, just watching him play video games made me laugh because I couldn't get into it, luckily. I've already. I watch sports, which is worse. It's like, duh, I'm just watching people do something that it's hard. But yeah, I I remember we, I traveled Andy. He uh, was into it. Bruce was into the the motocross game I had on my computer. I got the computer just for it and everyone played it and I just watched. Uh, So stupid. we, We traveled, we would take turns, Corey, Shay. Andy and I and Bruce, we would go because we would go to certain places. And when we go to France, long stints, we would we would have to bring more than one because we would stay away from each other. <laughs> and we would come, we would go to each other's house like we were at home. Mm-hmm. It was so funny. Like you'd have to ask Corey if you ever get Corey or Shay on one of these things. You would have to ask old school <laughs> stories of traveling since all kind of started off. But we used to do that where we would trade off. We would bring, if we were staying together, one guy would bring theirs, right? And then, so we would all have to bring the, the count. Yeah, those the are adapter big. thing. Yeah. And yeah. we would all have a backpack or a full-on duffel bag devoted to that, to the thing. The whole, all the games <laughs> and bullshit. And we would go, and it would just be like home. We literally would bring home to ourselves. We'd go surf in the morning, come back, eat. Play games. Oh, look at the waves. Go check the waves. That's go surf. Tough. Come back all night. Game. That's how good our lives that's were. That you you just wanted to be home. Like we're in France and for months, and you'd be like, I just I just got back from Europe, and I it's a different Europe now. Like I see it differently. I don't look at the ocean. I'm just yeah. looking at buildings and stuff. Back then, we were just out the ocean and playing that's video games, how, and chilling. How the waves were. <laughs> but I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's just because we just we're all together. We're we were just taking an extended field trip. Well, not only that, but you never got time at home, and it was kind of like bringing home to you, you know? Yeah, As we just 20 year, old, 20 year old kids. We just brought our shit that we liked with us and what we could fit in our backpack. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty <laughs> insane life that we've lived together, little buddy. Remember when we used to have the CD cases? Yeah. I left one on the plane and almost died. <laughs> I remember going back, and the guy's like, it's not here. And it was that's seriously all my life. Ones, the like, big one. It was a it. double decker. Like, I was like, no, 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 I need you it. You remember all the things as you were flipping through a Tower Records with me when we had to drive across uh, the Jellies. Island? Remember the place jellies. jellies and stuff? We'd go, remember, like. Remember? Yeah. Uh, where, where the DeMellos? Yes. Um, um, hungry Ear. Hungry Ear. Yeah. So we uh, our generation got to go through everything. No cell phones. Then we got a cell phone. Imagine that. Right, you just all of a sudden have this thing that flips like this. You're like, "What? This is crazy!" 
Like, and then emails. I remember emails coming out in 97 or 5. I could be totally yeah. off on that, but it was like 90s. And that changed everything. I'd write postcards to my mom and be like, I love you. I'm still alive. And like yeah. four months later, she'd get it and be like, oh, he's alive. You know, now the now it's there's so many levels to it. Like I, we used to go to Europe because I was just there and I used finally a GPS because I haven't really used it that many times in Europe. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, I would we die would have these. It. Remember maps? the maps? We'd have maps, and he would have to hold one side and over there and be like, and "Okay, I, we're right I, here." And we'd be crashing. But uh, yeah, it was so uh, hard. And we went through gone. all of Europe, all oh. of Europe, with board bags oh. the size of the car, and Bigger all teenage car. kids. And we'd be like, "Okay, go slow down, go left here." And a big Kimmy truck. got run <laughs> off the road by a yeah. semi. It was unbelievable that we got away. So now I did the other day. I, I even put an English accent. I was like, "Oh yeah." They're like, oh, all right, go left on this Your one on our own. I'm with like, GPS yes. Over there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the more funny part was we got lost because the GPS wasn't working and we didn't know what to do. And I was like, oh, shit, we don't have a fucking map. You know? The best part so. is going to have like juvenile AI and just like, I led you the wrong way, dickhead. Bye. <laughs> like, what? Hell. I'm supposed to believe you. You're in Fortnite. You <laughs> tell me exactly where I need to go. And you're like, guess what, human? You're a fucking kook. <laughs> you're like, a dork. What? What? <laughs> Who controls this? I control you. And he's just been sitting here watching us rant. Dude, will you say something? This is embarrassing. Yeah, hi, I'm still alive. This hi. is just, it's so entertaining to just watch you guys <laughs> yeah, play stupid. off each other. Yeah, we actually grew up with Beavis and Butthead too. In South Park, all those things started when we were kids. So we've, I hate to say we had a great generation because I'm sure the kids now are having the greatest time ever with electric bikes, but it was kind of like going from one to the, to the, right now we're going to explode, right? And we're all going to get canceled and shit. But, this whole 40 years that we've lived through, it's been such a good time in the yeah, world. the man. last of the good the stuff. We're not slaves. Yeah, we, hey. X Games, everything. Yeah. Guess what? You guys are slaves. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I just want a like, chip. What? I want a chip put <laughs> in my head joking. the day I'm going to die. You know, they we're put joking. it in, I'm like, boop, out. And then just press delete or whatever. Delete this whole we're fucking head. Canada. We're going to have a Canada trip. Whistler, <laughs> have the best time ever. Titties out, shake it, shake it, shake it. Go to I don't that, know what he's talking self, about. The self cancellation <laughs> center there. No, you got self suicide over there. They, oh, they do. Legal. Yeah. Oh no. I thought you were saying it was cool. Um, Let's go. No. What I've, do already you been, mean, dude? I've already been. I've been. Canceled. We'll be like party, bang, <sighs> bang air. Uh -huh. Magic. And, and, and then at the end, Cross get canceled. Bang, and then it's bang. <laughs> I'll, I'll like this knuckles and you. <laughs> hey, don't do like, don't do porn. <laughs> They're like, that's Don't. the new Thelma and Louise. This is a Benji and the uh, show. They're like, I, I hope it's well. that easy to be taken out because I'm, I'll be ready soon. It is After that the easy. wave pool, I'm just. It is that easy. Well, thank you so much, Annie. That was an amazing thing that you just generated. Come on, Good say job. something else. Do like a fart joke or something. Dude, I think that's totally on. That's all you. <laughs> you have another question that goes, that's on a yeah. one hour tangent. Uh-huh. Ask something uh, about I mean, this is like the Palm Springs Surf Club podcast. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna definitely have to do that. I don't, we talked about that so, somewhat. I, I'll be honest; like, shit. it's one of the coolest things going on right now in the world of uh, surfing. I think because it's going to be the one where you can actually access it from where we live, mm -hmm. and uh, it's ran by two incredible G's. Like I, Shane I is the mad scientist, and Kalani's the. I think Kalani is the best face of that place ever. That's what <laughs> made it so cool last best year. Best face. It was. You're the face of the brand. Like all those videos and everything, the hype and everything, and just every time you're there, you're definitely I'm doing Arizona. Mouse, that's my everyone. Disney World. It's definitely your Our fucking Disneyland. zone. Where depending if you live in Florida. Or California. You're the Johnny Boy Gomes of Way Pools right now. Yeah. That's what I want you to have yeah. that attitude. We get bad boy tattoos. Yeah. Johnny come in yeah, there. Yeah, that's sick. And you're, ha, 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 ha. Fuck yeah. Yeah. That's right, so. Johnny. And just don't cut Kalani Rob off at the Way Pool. <laughs> You'll break your fins off. All I know is that I think, and this is Jake. This is another Jake. This is totally his teaching why I'm interested in even talking about this because I already know. It means Jake this Burton. Why, it's Jake Burton. This is why I wanted this to happen. And this is literally from guys like he taught us this. I want to perpetuate what he taught us when he used to take us on those trips to Whistler in Japan, the best trips of our lives. Yeah. Every freaking I just went on time. one. Just went. I know. I can't believe I'm going to get one. I'm you guys got to put me back in the mix. <laughs> anyway, long story short, I'm just joking. But he would be at that way look, right now shooting guns. When we guns, got like to do it, Jake I know he'd be, be right there. He'd be having he would, so much fun he at that be. thing. He'd be right there next to us right now telling us, come on, let's go. Let's get yes, out of here. exactly. But 
I'm trying to perpetuate exactly what I learned from him when we used to go on the trips. I want to bring together the graffiti artist, the surfer, the skater, the snowboarder, the designer, the owner of the company, Jake Bird and himself. You want life as a movie. Kid, like life chef, as a movie. And the hella guy, Pat's <laughs> flyer guy was also too. Yeah. But those, most of those guys right there, because those are the best trips of my life, lives, our lives too. I, we got the most information where all, all the craziest, coolest guys you would never get in the same room were in the same room. Only for like whatever, a week we had it, a couple days. But all the information that was shared and all the worlds that came together and all the ideas that would never have crossed paths and all the people that work in the company behind the desk that had the shitty fucking job, they're like, oh, killer, I get to actually be part of the fun part of this job. It was like the perfect, perfect thing. And my pool is going to have that every week. Every week. I want to be able to go, I surf, I have fun, here's my surfing. I want to have like Action Bronson come in. I wish, you know, Bardane was still alive. But yeah. Would have had, you know, Bardane come in. But I want Action John, uh, uh, Action uh, Bronson to come in. I want him to come in Boogie Boy with me and have a great time because he loves to be part of it. That's part of his world that he loves to do. We get in the kitchen, we cook. It's his world now. The kitchen becomes somewhere that he can have fun on my premises. I want, like, Evan. I want, like, all Sean Ness friends that he has crazy artist friends. I want, like, the Evan Russells. You already sound like a dictator. I am a dictator. He's like, I want more food <laughs> delivered. I want famous people. Want, I'm gonna like, take my fuck, shirt this, off this, again. This, this, <laughs> yeah. This is the this is the other part. Because I didn't wear a catch surf shirt yet. I'm gonna get fired. I love it. This is different. No one's no one's ever in the podcast changed your shirt three times in a row. Maybe me because I was I want, sweating, but I want Evan that's Russell. That's a sick look, shirt. See? Killer. I like that one. And look, this is my world already. Why do I think this way? Because I'm already doing it with my teams. That we're doing, and we've already had that. This is already, this is my world. This is how, it's fun. Like, everybody wants to be part of my world. You're like my Jake little Paul ecosystem. of surf. You're I'm, like, you're, you got so much going on, and you have a, you're a YouTuber, boogie boarder. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot going yeah, on. All I gotta do is you make start money doing, like Jake Now Paul. you're gonna do all these celebrity fights. You're gonna have Action Bronson. He's I'm like, hey, by go the way, we gotta fight. I'm gonna go fight Jake Paul and make 20 <laughs> mil. He's out. He's, seriously, why not? Dude, you wanna fight? You yeah, you I will choke you out with my white belt, you punk. <laughs> Wait, hashtag but Jake Paul's a he, Jake Paul, he calls I'll call out you out and fight you for 20 mil, no problem. Mm -hmm. Are you just a mil? That's cool. You can just punch yeah. me. Just uh, can't hit my face, but and, uh, or my in my stomach area. You can you can only hit me in the arm. Gnarly. That guy's right. I definitely he definitely had hit but the shit out of you. What I want to be able to do is have a perpetual thing where there's a world, my little ecosystem. That every year there's a that's like a migration of what we do because every year we used to go yeah. and travel. I don't not ask all year round, but like I would love to have one day out of the year that everybody knows that they can come in their migration, which is going to be all year long. But like something where like, Qual I the quality do, of life. I want to want. do something which we're obviously going to do every time Coachella Splash House comes, and uh, what's the other one? Um, there's another one. Like hey, a DJ Buddies one. has one this weekend. It's like three Stagecoach. hotels. Stagecoach. Stagecoach. So yeah. like all those, I want to be. We're going to be the place to go because that's going to be the pool and everything. And, and it's not always about the show. Like everyone does a show and they want to go and do the fun thing, get out of there. So that's going to be the fun thing that I want to be able to do. When we do uh, surfer cross, when we have the controlled environment, surfer cross is always fun, but like trail six is never like the best it's way. It's never good ways for that thing. So I want to, oh, those are. Gonna I want to so put fun. surfer cross on another level with Jer Jeremy Albrecht, and that was something for Sunny Dave Castillo back in the day started. We were there during the X Games when the X Games started. Come on, now. so true. So imagine I, how much fun those events would be with a wave. I want to be able to wave. have fun with the dirt bikers. Mm -hmm. That would be my wish. I want to be able to have fun with the skaters. In the surfers. That's Are they going to have a skate park there? Yes. I want to be able to have fun with my graffiti and artists. Like, you know, Stash back in the day. Yeah, 100%. And his, then... Uh, is still around. I don't know. Right? Yeah. So, and then what's his name from Japan? Uh, not Steve Aoki. No, he was our, He was before Steve. And Steve, what's up? Like, he used um, to be... Remember we used to do the, the very first house party he did in, like, what was it? In uh, Hollywood Hills? That was, like, one of yeah. his very first parties we did with... My it, G? Was it My G? I can't remember. Oh, my G. Oh, wow. My G. G. That's the one. Yeah. No, the, uh, Futura. Oh, Futura. Uh, Futura. Like he's that. the art. Isn't he the yeah. graffiti artist? So, like, Futura, if you're hearing, too. Like, I want him. Like, I haven't seen him in years. Yeah. It'd be, like, good he's to have him. New York. So, so, maybe Futura comes. We go surfing. Stash comes. We have a day that we do this. 
It That's so going to be like a great thought, right? Wouldn't it be an amazing thought? So you're going to be able to plan all these experiences that change your life throughout the year through this weight pool. And that's like your not quality of life is going to be unbelievable. I want to mix. I think I everyone hates you now. And now you're going to be hated on. Everyone's going to be like, Claudia thinks she's a shit because I have a good life. Yeah. And I want to be a part of it. I want to be like Paris Hilton's little sister. Yeah. I'm going to bring three poodles. And I'm going to be like, <laughs> where's my waves? I want my more waves. And you know what? Frank Sinatra could suck it. <laughs> I'm already canceled. <laughs> I'm going to pull into Palm Springs like, you said Frank Sinatra has a small pee-pee. I'm like, no, I said he has a huge one. <laughs> anyway, I thought we'd end on something ridiculous. Just to see if people are still listening. Annie's questions are making him uncomfortable, too. No, that's it. That's we it, dude. Do, what a great, party great hang, like Frank bro. Sinatra. I know. And uh, I really like the insight to our next guest, too, Blair. Oh, he's Blair right there? Blair's going to be our next guest. Oh. And um, you already threw him like a huge toe in. Saying he's the best surfer in the world. He's my favorite surfer in the world right <sighs> now. I think and that's so cool that he's dude. serious, too. I, this morning, I, I have a up. DJ friend, and I him saw and him. Mason. And he goes, he goes, what are you doing today? And I go, I'm going up to do a podcast with Kalani and um, Blair Conklin. And he goes, who's Blair? And I go, he's a skimboard. And he goes, oh, shit, I love those guys. And he goes, is, yeah, is he kids. one of those guys that hits all the wedges and stuff? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, skim I watched kids. those. I love that. Yeah. And it, he, this is a surfer, ki- uh, older gentleman. And I was like, well, you re- you're into it, too? And I'm like, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely fun to watch. I Just like I said, it, in, in my heyday, which was like 150 years ago or today, I'm ripping, um, was thinking about hanging on the beach because I like to like flirt with girls and like, not be drowning from currents and stuff. And I could just go, okay, see you guys back, and then show off, come in, and then high-five them with a beer. Like it seemed like a dream scenario. That's you it. never had to go too far. You would catch a wave, get barrel, do an air, come on the beach, and go like, "Hey, you see, we got you know some ecstasy." I could literally. You don't even have to come to the beach. What? I could hand Who said you. That? I could hand you your drink as you're passing by the wall. <laughs> so fun. None Imagine the serious. videos we would have had, like video parts, just sliding with a beer. Like, cool. Did you see that one where I went across the pool and hit the lip? And it's it, yeah, that spray is like be so cool. About five feet of the cabana, but it's not going to quite get in the cabana. I could. Probably spray in the cabana though. I just basically saw the JFK murder film, like the like the real murderer. You know how there's like supposedly like in the there's a safe with all these film. I just got to see it, and you guys don't even know what I saw. Wait, should we show? Isn't it? that cool? We show it to the. Thing. I know, but on, I'm when I go home tonight, I'm gonna be like, I know who killed JFK. I mean, who rips that left at yeah. Palm Springs? But that's it. If if one thing I could say with all of that is that would be my wish, no matter if it's me or my partners or whoever's. And our collective thing once we open is my wish would be to have like the fishers be able to come surf with yeah. me, jam, do his thing because he's such a great DJ now. He's Jack, come surf with us, do oh, his thing. Donovan, fun. come with us, surf with the all. Okay, artist friends, the stashes, the Faturas, the the Evan Russells, the Risk Rocks, the whoever it may be. They come and they get to do art around the pool because I want to be able to have an application when uh, Desert X comes that we be one of the jewels on their their they have a thing where it's almost like a like a like a Easter treasure egg. hunt yeah. treasure hunt. So I want to be able to do that where I have a space on our walls where I say, dude, just go ham, do shit that I would you would never allow be allowed to do ever. But here in my world, I want you to be able to go get nuts on that building. We'll repaint it later. Yeah, of course. Go nuts, dude, and it's be. The craziest thing where you won't be looking at something and it will change. It right. will be periodically changed. Like Kakaako. Kakaako. Yeah, you know, so that something like so that. Sweet. But for instance, if we don't change it every year, or, or, I'm, not, I'm sorry, all throughout the year, but maybe once or twice a year, definitely around Desert X, I want to be able to give, I want to be able to like let, I don't know, I think it's like really cool that I'm a surfer and I have all these rad friends. You would be like, how the fuck do you know this dude? And this is a really cool dude. And how do you guys know each other? And what? And then that's like, a conversation with some crazy other dude that you're like wait that's insane and then that guy goes whoa let's do something together and that's going to happen a lot yeah because there's like these weirdest characters mixing and then we do rad things for like this like it's, charities I, yeah like no just whatever this is is my idea to collectively have all these minds together is going to spawn oh, more yeah. rad shit that's totally. all i want it to be no matter who in the thing and and by simply putting the artists in all these culinary and surfing and, and dirt biking and skating and all those minds together. It's like a new eclectic version of, and all of us guys are making money, like a lot of guys are making money so we can make moves. We're very influential. We're into like a crazy time, so I mean. And your little son might get his first barrel out there. 
Yeah, he, he actually is he, into surfing right now. KO is into surfing, but he he's more into like I dad watch. I can hit my baseball out of the park. I know he's a little athlete. He's a little. He's my new Otani. So, but how cool is it going to be? We're going to tow him. Hey, he's going to be like ha, ah, little right barrel. I told him, hey, it's better to be a pro baseball player and surf on the weekend <laughs> than be a pro surfer and play. Good baseball call. Otani is definitely the we're gonna, coolest hero ever. Dad would rather just yeah. cruise and not to worry about. I want some hot and, dogs and beers and watch your son hit it out of the park. That doesn't. I suck. Want my kid going to G Land and Brazil <laughs> to the favelas and dealing with like all the crazy stuff that we dealt. Like what? Yeah, there was no. a lot to it. Stay in America. Traveling stay is by me. No joke. I want you to be safe. I'm a protective dad. So, yeah. All right, so your kid's not going to be able to ride the wave pool. It's dictator again. He's like, no, nope, no kids for you. <laughs> I just DJs. Just, uh, just Fisher. All right, well, so he basically sh- shout out with? every cool, famous person he wants to hang out with. So all you guys hit him up at palmspringsurfclub.com, org, Kalani Rob, that so said I can surf with you guys or whatever. Dot, Hashtag dot, dot, dot. Don't bring any money. I got it. Free everything. Um, um, bring sunblock and then a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that. But uh, thanks, K Dog. You're always my favorite person to hang out with. And uh, the cool part is, I still get to hang out with them just because this ends doesn't mean that we end. And there's gonna and be Annie, some great stay quiet. Uh, ice bo- ice bath footage. Your by your ice bath. Yeah, I put my big rig in uh, too small of a trash can down yeah. there. But uh, thanks, K Dog, for giving us some time You're and welcome. filling us in. What's going on in your life? Love you, buddy. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Andy, for everything. Thanks, Andy. You did two questions. questions. Lights Those it. were killer questions. Thanks. Killer. All right. Peace out, guys. Appreciate you. Thank you.